and then we will do current enemy dot attacks at index of current enemy dot attack num. Now attack num may not show up for you. Um, that is perfectly fine because what you need to do is come over here into enemy.vb and create public attack num as integer. You don't need to do it in any of your other enemy classes <coughs> classes because they all inherit enemy. And when they inherit everything from enemy, they are going to inherit inherit the attack num. So it can be used for all types of enemies. And it needs to, like I said, it needs to be public um, as integer in your enemy. So then we will go ahead um, and add, close that in brackets, and then we will say four, and then we're going to do the damage. So we'll do current enemy dot, and we're going to get attack damage at index of current enemy dot attack num. Now, you may notice that we don't actually have a current enemy dot attack damage. So what we need to do is we need to come into each one of these classes and make that. So we'll go ahead and do public read only zombie attack damage. Now you may notice um, that we'll have a conflict uh, because of this. We can't, we would have to find out what type of enemy it is and then do it according to that. So what we can do is come over to enemy and we can do public read only attack damage as string. And since each enemy has three attacks, we're going to put um, a three right here. So it'll have three places at indexes of zero, one, and two. Now for each one of the classes, let's go ahead and make a constructor. So sub new, and we'll go ahead and do int health equals start health. So let's see here. So we'll come into each of our enemy classes and we will just go ahead and add the items to the attack damage um, array. So we'll just type attack damage at index of zero is going to be equal to and we'll come over here to attack and for the first one let's just do set it equal to 10. So. Um, so we'll set that equal to 10 and then attack damage 1 is going to be equal to uh, 5 and then attack damage 2 is going to be equal to let's see 2. Now you can see here that it won't let you set values um, outside of a a sub or a constructor. So we can just, just go ahead and copy this and we will just type um, sub new so we have a constructor and if we put this inside the constructor um, it's going to go ahead and set those values for us. Now, don't worry about the constructor inside of our enemy class because that code will still run too. It'll set the int health equal to the start health and then it will do all of this right here. So what we're going to need to do is do that for each one of the classes. So I'll pause and then come back once that's done. Okay, so you can see that I've done that for each one of these classes. Done it for dragon, villain, and zombie. 
and I've changed the values accordingly. Now you can go ahead and use indirection right here if you would like, um, but I'm going to leave that the same for this tutorial. So come back into form1.vb. So we've got current enemy dot attacks uh, attack num, and you can see now that our attack damage and our attack num works, and then we'll add damage. So go ahead, put this code in if you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and then stay tuned for the next tutorial.